the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are the gifts of God, and it enlargeth the rejoicing that love Him. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord, and the branches thereof are long life. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verses 18 and 20. Look at the generations of old, and see, did ever any trust in the Lord, and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear, and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise, that called upon him? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well, pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts, and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord, and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verses 10, 15 to 18. The fear of the Lord goeth before the obtaining of authority, but roughness and pride is the losing thereof. Great men and judges and potentates shall be honored, yet is there none of them greater than he that feareth the Lord. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor, for thou hast much wealth, if thou fear God, and depart from all sin, and do that which is pleasing in his sight. Tobit chapter 4 verse 21 Only fear the Lord, and serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider how great things he hath done for you. 1 Samuel chapter 12 verse 24 Whence then cometh wisdom, and where is the place of understanding? And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding. Job chapter 28 verses 20 and 28. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Psalm chapter 19 verse 9. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of Him. Psalm chapter 33 verse 8. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. Psalm chapter 34, verses 9, 11 to 14. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Psalm chapter 111 verse 10. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. Psalm chapter 115 verses 11 and 13. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. Psalm chapter 118, verse 4. Though a sinner do evil an hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before God. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verses 12 to 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole map. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 13 to 14. The Lord is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Isaiah chapter 33 verses 5 to 6. Honor all men. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the king. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 17. Saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. 
Revelation chapter 14, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 7 to 8. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Proverbs chapter 9, verses 10 to 11. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Proverbs chapter 14, verses 26 to 27. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 16 and 33. By mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 6. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, and honor, and life. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 4. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Proverbs chapter 23, verses 17 to 18. And said to the judges, Take heed what ye do. For ye judge not for men, but for the Lord, who is with you in the judgment. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord our God, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Second Chronicles chapter 19, verses 6 to 7.